Alrighty y'all, we're back at the overlook for the tail of the dragon. I'm gonna be uh, chilling the rest of the way. So this is gonna be interesting. Heavy bike, I think I'll be good. good chilling the rest of the way. We cooked through there pretty good. I didn't get to talk much, I was kind of busy. Once you get past the overlook is usually where the cops are, so I just kind of hammer to that overlook after talking to a local or something and just see, just see uh, how it's been going. Most of, most of us that hammer only go to that overlook, we, we don't go past it because uh, if you do a time run, you start at the overlook and go to the state line or you go from the state line to the overlook, which is in my opinion a lot harder like the route we I just did was down is downhill and um, to me it's harder going downhill versus uphill so that's the spot that we actually run this section back here is mostly just rewind or uh, more touristy There's still some pull-offs like right there, but like it's not as much. And then um, obviously, like it's a little more open, so it's less technical per se. Hit this corner in first. Now the trick to this is is to, is to go wide and then come in. I'm still like somewhat struggling with the hole hitting the corners where I need to be. Like I said, I'm getting there, but... I'm not really trying to cook or anything. Not through here. enjoying the ride we're pretty much at the end as it is like there ain't much there's like two more corners here and honestly I don't even think these are they're not what I'd say bad like like any of these corners can get you if you ain't ready but hey you see I got my map up so I get a good pretty good preview of them before I hit it Surprisingly, 
I guess the troopers have decided that uh, they're not, they're done for the day. So, I'm just chilling.
fishing pole, but uh, I'm gonna stick to the North Carolina side, I believe. I don't have a license in Tennessee, and uh, I don't really feel like paying a fine if I get caught. I've seen uh, well, this whole area is full of wildlife officers, so you know, I don't think I'm gonna risk it as much as I like the lake. Dragon Road is so much better now that they paved it. Like, you're missing a few of like the landmarks, like I used to be able to go by the snakes in the road of where stuff was, but it is so smooth and so nice, like you can really get a good run. I'm just thrilled. It's like I've gotten two pretty good runs. Like the first one got killed by a truck. That last one got slowed down a good bit. I feel like if I don't get slowed down, I'll put together a really, really good time. That's the dam, one of the Tennessee Valley Association dams, TVA dam. Really cool. I talked to. Um, one of the guys that uh, supervises the dam systems a while back and uh, like I said, uh, the history behind it and just uh, the way they manage it to create pretty much free power. It's not free, but after the infrastructure's in, you're operating at a profit and then they manage the flood levels and water levels and also like the fish resources. So it has a major impact on the region. Uh, in my opinion, it would be a positive impact. Up here is the uh, the Harley store. It's not an actual like um, motor store. Like there's not bikes in it, but uh, you got uh, shirt stores and all that stuff. I went there. Uh, I think last time or a couple times ago, but. There ain't much up there. And I really don't remember a whole lot past this point because I've always turned off, cut across or whatever, so this is going to be less familiar to me. Looks like we're behind the Jeep. Got a John boat out there ripping in the water. A lot of bass boats. Ah, he's a bass tracker. God, like the scenery, oh, the blue sky, the sun's out, the green covered hills, oh. of course there's an abandoned house, nothing to make you feel like at home, good old Wilson, not like a burnt out abandoned house to make you feel good, you guys fishing in the lake, oh, I could totally bring a boat down here and just, just ride around the lake and fish, like, oh. Talk about a good time. The old Jeep looks like it's almost two struck with the oil smoke. Crack windshield and all. You can always tell like a vehicle lives in the mountains because half the time they're pieced together. One thing they all got is brakes. They don't have brakes, they don't tend to stick around for very long. Truck, some supermotos.
chilling kind of. I got a good ways to go. like this. I don't... I need to keep it somewhat within reason. Might, might switch over to Waze just to be on the safe side. Last thing I want is a ticket, which if it happens, it happens, but I'm going to do my best to avoid it. I say that, but... best to appear like the average Harley rider. Yeah, I think we'll go past this next body of water and then I'll sign off for a little while. I'm just gonna keep my thoughts to myself, which I don't seem to have a lot, just taking in the beauty of the landscape and stuff. Um, who knows, I'll turn the camera back on if I think I see anything interesting. But uh, like I said, it's just, the scenery is just great. Like, Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, just look at like the straight shot, like the beautiful blue sky. Ah. Drop the visor down, maybe you can get a little better audio. Hopefully the last little bit wasn't too loud. going crazy on this road. Yeah, this seemed to be like a pretty decent road. All these bikes and stuff. Nah, just chilling, chilling. Oh man, I just... I love coming out here when like you get literally this like it's like maybe 70, 75, maybe 80 degrees. Well that's a big maybe. I'm sure it's gonna cool down when I'm coming back through here at night. I brought my rain gear just in case, but oh my goodness. Slow down to 45 up here, that's probably the spot to slow up at. We're gonna chill. Ain't trying to do this. Road narrows. No more zoom zoom boom boom. I don't know, we might might leave it rolling for a little bit longer. I'm gonna have a lot of video editing to do when I get back, which there's just not like a good way to edit videos when you're out and about. Like my whole rig's in the house and um so like all my all my tools and stuff in the house. I brought my little laptop. In the last video I did on my phone. I just had to splice two videos together. I won't really able to do a whole lot with it. But um, I think uh, I think I'm gonna try to do like some shorts on it. Like like split the road up in each little segment and just uh, make a whole bunch of different shorts on each corner. Thing like that'll be kind of interesting. Them do, and then I'll have like the whole video. I think that might be cool. It's just kind of me kind of spitballing. Um, I'm pretty glad uh, I changed the oil on the bike before I come out here because. 
Like I said, we literally screamed through there. Like, she done good.